everyone, my name is Dr. Tina Chu and I'm a veterinarian specializing in home services in the heart of Toronto, Ontario and surrounding areas. Welcome to my home and to a series of talks put together to assist you in establishing a lasting, happy and healthy bond with your pets. Today's talk is an instructional video on how you, you can get your dogs and kitties used to toothbrushing in the home. It is great that you are considering toothbrushing as part of one of your at-home care measures to prevent dental disease in our cats and dogs. Starting a routine of toothbrushing is easier when your pets are younger, such as when they're puppies and kittens, but it is never too late to start. Just ease into it at a comfortable pace for both you and your pet. Although toothbrushing remains the best at-home care measure that you can do at home to prevent dental disease, it is time consuming, so in a separate video, I'm going to talk about other at-home care measures that are available to us as pet guardians, as well as talk about the reasons why prevention of dental disease is important in our pets. If you have mastered toothbrushing in the home, that's great. And what I would recommend is brushing our pet's teeth at least twice weekly. Now I'm going to go through the steps on how you can get your pets used to brushing their teeth at home. Step one, when starting at home toothbrushing, make sure you buy pet friendly toothpaste. Do not use human toothpaste as this is toxic to our pets. Pet friendly toothpaste can be swallowed without concern, contains special enzymes to break down plaque, which is the precursor to tartar. And finally, for the toothbrusher's ease, it tastes yummy to our pets, which makes it easier to establish a regular at home oral care routine. Step two, once you have found a pet friendly toothpaste, Start by allowing your kitty or dog to lick it off your index finger as a treat once a day for the first few days. Next, while petting or having your pet resting comfortably near you, over the next week, see if your pet will gradually allow you to stick your finger with the tasty toothpaste just inside the cheek. The idea over the week is to try and brush your pet's teeth by placing this pet toothpaste on your finger and rubbing it against the gingival margin. The gingival margin is where the gums meet the base of the teeth. Dogs and cats have very flexible cheeks, so when brushing their teeth with your finger, you can use your other hand to pull back their cheek to expose the back teeth so they can be brushed too. Our pet's teeth are kind of like ours, where they have teeth on the sides, front, top and bottom, so make sure all regions get a good sweep with your finger. Step four, if you have found this part easy and your pet loves the toothbrushing with your finger, you can take it up a notch and use a soft bristled toothbrush. The bristles of the toothbrush provides added mechanical action of brushing and does a better job at removing plaque in small crevices of the tooth than our finger or the enzymatic toothpaste would alone. Introducing a soft bristled toothbrush to your pet pretty much follows the same steps as two and three, except in place of your finger, you will be using the toothbrush. So first place the toothpaste on the brush and allow your pet to lick off the paste from the toothbrush once a day for about a week. Step five, then slowly work your way to being able to use the toothbrush to gently brush your pet's gingival margins or teeth. To illustrate a few points, this is just a model of a dog's mouth with one side being the normal looking or healthy side and the other side shows us a dog's mouth when there is significant dental disease. Be gentle when brushing. You do not want to cause the gums to bleed. It is important to note that if you see evidence of tartar, which is the brown calcification of plaque, no amount of brushing will remove this safely. What we are trying to achieve with toothbrushing is to prevent further buildup of plaque, which is that clear film that develops over teeth. We humans notice plaque buildup on our own teeth when we wake up in the morning. That is that transparent film we are trying to remove from our pet's teeth with the action of brushing before it becomes solidified tartar and caked onto their teeth. When it does, a trip to your family veterinarian for dental scaling is the only safe way to remove tartar to prevent worsening of dental disease. If you notice bleeding gums, foul breath, blackening of the teeth, loose teeth, pain or discomfort of your pet, speak to your family veterinarian before you start brushing your pet's teeth. These signs may mean that your pet needs to have their mouth examined prior to brushing. If your pet is in pain, brushing their teeth at this time may aggravate their discomfort. Oftentimes, with significant dental disease, rotten teeth can progress to a rotten and fractured jawbone because the entire jaw becomes brittle with infection. 
If a person had a very sore tooth or even a fractured jaw, brushing their teeth may be one of the last things they want to do, especially without having medical assistance, the use of pain medications and antibiotics to take care of the infection. If brushing teeth is difficult, secondary at-home care products such as diets, treats, water additives can also be started to help delay further progression of dental disease as they help remove the plaque. Using a combination of these methods in conjunction with each other is even better. For example, my kitties Mookie and Rolly, they get their tooth brushing at least twice weekly and they are on a dental diet. I sincerely hope this video was helpful to you. There is a printable PDF handout of this talk with helpful diagrams on our company website at www.tomobilevet.com, so be sure to check it out. If you have any specific medical questions about your pet's health, please contact your family veterinarian for further information. Thanks again for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.